Hello rock stars. This video will instruct you on how to connect your gateway to the most popular IoT platform, the Things Network. Start by logging into the gateway via the web UI and make sure that you are connected to the internet. The default username and password are root. First, the channel plan needs to be set to one corresponding to your regional frequency band. As we've mentioned before, the default channel plan of the gateway might not be the one you need. Go to the channel plan tab to change it if needed. As we are in Europe, we will choose the EU region from the drop-down menu for the demo and keep the LoRa 1 public option enabled. Now, apply the changes by clicking Save and Apply. Proceed to set up the LoRa network settings by going to the LoRa network tab and choose Network Settings. At the top, you see the Gateway EUI. Copy this as it will be needed for registering your gateway in the TTN console. By default Rock Commercial Gateways comes pre-configured in Network Server Mode. To use the TTN we need to change this mode to Packet Forwarder. Select it from the drop-down menu and click on the Switch Mode button. We see some settings options appear. For this tutorial, the protocol field, server address, and the server port up and down fields are the ones that need attention. For Europe, those fields come filled by default with the needed data. In the protocol field, the Sentec UDP gateway message protocol option must be selected. The value in the server port up and down is 1700. As for the server address, you must choose one depending on your location as for Europe it comes pre-configured. For your region, you can check the needed server address at the TTN Learn section at their website. The link will be in the description box below. We leave all the other fields as they are. Apply the settings by clicking Save and Apply. If you do not have a TTN account, go and make one at thethingsnetwork.org, then log into the platform. Choose console from the drop-down menu next to your profile picture, then select the gateways icon. Choose the register gateway button from the right. Check the I am using the legacy packet forwarder checkbox because we are using the Semtech packet forwarder and then, in the gateway EUI field paste the copy to EUI form your gateway. The description field is optional but filling it will help you orientate if you have several gateways registered. Select the correct frequency plan and router for your region. Note that they should match the one selected in your gateway settings. Additionally, you may add your gateway location and type of the antenna placement, indoor or outdoor. To finalize the registration press the register gateway button. If everything is configured correctly your status should be green and the last seen field should be updating constantly. Congratulations, your rock gateway is successfully connected to the things network platform. So that's all for this video guys. For detailed information on specific use cases or additional functionality refer to our documentation center, where you can find all of it in the form of written documentation, articles, and more. See all the links down below. Comment, like, and subscribe to stay tuned. Thanks for watching, and see you in our next video.